Gulf Unmanned Systems Center is exactly what it says. We do unmanned systems from air to land to surface to subsurface. Everything is going this way. This is the new emerging technology. Agriculture, aquaculture, homeland defense, all these different things that we do that are, and a lot of them are dull, dangerous, or dirty missions. We can do these with un unmanned systems. Uh, we're doing this in Carabelle, Florida, which is a little town in northwest Florida, and it has great demographics and geography for it. 90% uh, of the land is owned by the uh, state of Florida, so in the next 20, 25 years, it's going to stay as it is. The geography is, is, is very diverse. We have rivers, we have swamps, we have upland forest, we have uh, estuaries, we have bay. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Gulf of Mexico right next to us as well. We have a building in Carabelle. The building is actually uh, seven years old. It's 64,800 square feet. It's just a large building. It's perfect for what we do because we offer remote services to companies. If you are uh, an XYZ company, you would come in and use my, use my building, my testing areas, my environmental impact statement, uh, my personnel that I provide you at a cost, of course. So you don't have to bring anybody to support you other than your, you know, your scientists, your technicians, uh, your engineers. We also have a 4,000 foot paved runway that's uh, 500 feet from the corner of the building. And that's, all, and that's part of our package. We're building a uh, 33 feet deep, a one atmosphere test pool for testing unmanned vehicles. We will have a uh, undersea simulation facility that's a 40 foot long pressure tank, nine feet in diameter, uh, that will be able to press the pressurized vehicles down to a thousand feet. Our focus is on uh, primarily looking at unmanned systems, uh, how they can be applied to uh, requirements and needs for both defense of the country, but also for commercial applications. We're certainly impressed with what we see with the Gulf of Man System Center to be that uh, nexus for a community where you're able to build a community of unmanned capabilities. Uh, we forget sometimes that it isn't all just making it and testing it, the engineering side of it, but you also have to be able to have a place and the capability of demonstrating your, your performance, your capabilities to the people that might be interested in purchasing it or utilizing it and get its capabilities. When we start looking across the board at the capabilities that you can have by integrating these systems, which you can do, at the Gulf Unmanned Systems Center where you have the ability to, to integrate all of these systems across the board. I think that the capabilities are virtually limitless. A 30 foot long unmanned submersible can take the place of a major part of the mission of a fast attack submarine that we build today. That costs two to three billion dollars where we might invest six million dollars in this. That's pretty incredible. That's what unmanned systems are all about really is where we become more and more efficient.